Okay, I'm testing the NCS2553 as an RGB amp on the top loader. Uh, it's set for six decibel gain and it has six order filters in it. So I wanted to try it against the NJM amp. And this is, right now, this is the uh, 2553. And I think it looks just as good as the NJM. And it has much less parts count. Let's see, I can uh, I can flip back to the NGM, and you can see there's I mean it's just almost zero difference in quality. And I just I don't think I'm going to be able to get the jail bars on tape, and I think it's just the NGM itself. But. If we take a look at the amp itself, this is the the chip. There are the typical power filter caps, and then we have um, the output resistor, 75 ohm, and electrolytic on the output. That's that's all that's required for the 2553. And then this is all the NJM amp. You see there are uh, input caps and resistors, two op-amp chips, six output caps, three more output resistors, and then two power filter caps. Let's go over here. This is still on the NGM. When I switch it back to the 2553, it doles and locks up the top loader. But I mean, I honestly, I cannot see a difference. Uh, let's throw some Zelda in here. We're still on the 2553. looks gorgeous. Switch to the NJM. Almost exactly the same thing. It kind of dulls out there for a second but it comes back. I think the blue looks really good. Switch to the NJ. Same thing. Now, a really cool thing is I can actually set this back up with the, uh, the SCART converter. And it works. I mean, it looks amazing. I mean, it looks like an emulator. It looks so good. Matter of fact, it looks so much like an emulator, it looks bad. You know, it's, it's too perfect.
You know, it's just not what you're used to seeing. But, for whatever reason, with the 2553, I get this weird crap going on at the top of the screen. And it's not every scene either. If I go all the way to the very bottom of the map, it doesn't do it. There's a, still a little bit of jitter up there, but as soon as I go up one, it, it gets awful. Now if I switch to the, the NJM amp, it goes away and it looks perfect. No jitter. So, for that reason alone, you might want to stick with the NJM amp just so you can use that SCART converter and try out component. 